Here is a close-up view of the epidermis of the sole of the foot. Because the epidermis is so thick, this is referred to as thick skin. If you look at the layers, first of all, we have our deepest layer, which is right over here. This is the stratum basale, also known as the stratum germinativum. The next layer up, right over here, is our stratum spinosum. You can see it's many cell layers thick in contrast to the stratum basale, which is only one cell layer thick. Then right over here, these cells, which are darker in color, represent the stratum granulosum, where granules start to appear within the cells as they undergo the process of cell death. The next layer right over here is a layer that you're only going to see in thick skin. This is the stratum lucidum. Now this stratum is not considered important by many anatomists who consider this stratum as being simply part of the stratum corneum, which is the most superficial layer over here. So the last layer right over here is the stratum corneum. The cells in this layer, like in the stratum lucidum, are dead. And these cells essentially are packed with keratin and waterproofing material is found between them to protect the skin, toughen the skin, and to waterproof the skin. So again, we have the stratum basale or germinativum, the stratum spinosum, the stratum granulosum, the stratum lucidum, only on the sole of the foot, and finally the stratum corneum. We can contrast the epidermis in the armpit with that of the sole of the foot, and you can see that the epidermis is much thinner, fewer layers of cells, and for this reason this would be considered thin skin compared to right over here where this would be considered thick skin. The layers of the thin skin include again the stratum sali or stratum germinativum, one cell layer thick, the stratum spinosum, the stratum granulosum, and then the stratum corneum. In this model, you can separate the dermis into two layers, the papillary layer and the reticular layer, which is this deeper layer right over here. If we look more closely at these layers, again, we'll notice that the one of the ways you know it's the papillary layer is the presence of these papillae and the presence of numerous capillaries within this layer. And then right over here, you can see the tougher, stronger, particular layer of the dermis.